Are you ready to recharge your brain to supercharge your new year? Well, I mean, who wouldn't want to recharge their brain? So we're going to get some of the top tips to recharge your brain, to supercharge your year, your health, your energized health with your mind, body, and spirit working together in synergy. And of course, the bonus at the end, the icing on the cake, the prize, I'm going to read you the chapter of my published fictional drama so that you could ride along with the frontline workers with the action adventure, along with advocacy and awareness for what people go through, their mental struggles, our mental struggles, all the type of battles that we face. We're going to get into that exciting fictional drama at the end so you have to stay and it's going to be worth it so let's jump into the top tips that i've written down for today to recharge and supercharge your brain health so we can infuse into your whole life and your energy and everything that you want to accomplish once again i'm Nurse Anne, I'm a nurse on the front lines of mental health and emergency, certified emergency and mental health registered nurse for many years and still going. And I created this channel to help you overcome your obstacles of your mental struggles, to give you the best health of your body, mind and spirit, and to just offer that encouragement for the things that we go through. So make sure that you subscribe so you can have lots of inspirational wellness for yourself and to share with others. So subscribe it, like it, leave a comment as we go. And at the end, we'll have that bonus. So let's jump in, as I said, to the top tips to recharge and energize your brain health. So what are some of the top tips? A brain healthy diet that's so important what you eat and what you don't eat are very important some of the top foods um at the top of the list are those omega-3s especially the fatty fish family so try to get more omega-3s to help your brain boost your brain power your berries especially blueberries uh, vegetables especially broccoli turmeric is a great um spice slash supplement that does definitely affect your brain health. Green tea, and I'm gonna talk more about green tea in a minute and some of the benefits from that. Um, nuts, eggs, oranges, and other vitamin C, and most of all, my favorite got on here is dark chocolate. I love that, but it's full of those antioxidants and it is a super Food. So brain healthy diet, super important what you eat and what you don't eat, along with getting lots of water and healthy beverages to drink. So number two, whoo, this is so important. And a lot of times in this culture, we're a sleep deprived culture, we can overlook, but getting enough sleep every night. That's so important. I know we're busy and I know it's easy to overlook, but I can't begin to tell you how important it is. Um, it helps to recharge, re-energize your brain along with kicking off that neuroplasticity. And what that is, is the regeneration and the rewiring of your brain circuits, making those new pathways, no matter what your age or what you think or what your limitations are. We all have the ability of our brains to generate that neuroplasticity. And we're gonna get into some more ways to do that. So. In addition to um, strengthening your brain muscle, did you know that getting enough sleep actually is one of the biggest things to help you grow skeletal and the muscles in your body? It's not just working out and lifting up weights. That is part of it, but getting the proper sleep is actually what builds your muscles while you rest and sleep. Did you know that? So sleeping helps also boost your creativity, your memory powder, power, as long as your emotional intelligence, your emotional resilience to deal with stress and negativity that life and others bombard at you, helps you have that calm emotional temperament to get along with others, to function throughout your day, to be creative and to have those new ideas to help you at school, at work, family, community, whatever your endeavor is at the moment. So a brain healthy diet, um, getting enough sleep, just helping regenerate our brain cells along with our body cells. And also decreasing, finding a way to fend off 
negative thoughts. They're going to come, but learning ways through emotional intelligence and emotional resilience and just different um, mental struggles that we can find ways to deal with them and ways to ward off those negative thoughts that attack us every day. Sometimes all throughout the day, we have to work on that. We don't want to let negativity make a nest in, and just make its little home in our brains. We don't want that. So work on that. And part of that, and also part of helping your brain health and your emotional health is the circle of people that you choose to have in your life for the majority of the time. We can't always choose the people that are around us, but we can choose the people that we listen to, that we allow to speak into our lives, that we share our deepest dreams with. That's important. The circle that you choose can infuse that positive energy into your brain for your brain health, your regulation, your emotional and brain regulation, and just your life as a whole. It's so important. So, you know, do a survey. Are people adding to you or... Do you feel anxious and, and lower when people bring certain um, vibes your way? So think about that energy level. Also, um, in addition to our thoughts and the circle of people, our sleep and our brain health diet, this one is so important. Trying and learning new things, new adventures, new tasks. And also that could be um, your life purpose and mission. That is so important to dig into and find out what you're passionate about. Usually something that helps others will really kickstart and help you go forward with that. So trying new things, new puzzles, new trips, meeting new people, trying new things, that's all going to help our brain function and our neural plasticity, that regeneration and rewiring. Get out, try something new, break out of your boxes. Um, Break out of your comfort zones. I have some videos on that because breaking out of our comfort zones and our boxes is so important. There's a lot of things in society and the people that are around us and just our routines of day to day that want to keep us. Maybe we feel stuck like we have to stay in um, certain rules or the way certain people or society or media tell you you have to think or do things. Break out of that. You have your own brain, your own thoughts, your own life. Dig into that. We can still get along with others and function, but you have to break out of those comfort zones and try those new things. Go after your life person, life purpose and passions, your life endeav endeavors, whether that's a side gig, a startup, a creative endeavor, just helping others, teaching, mentoring. There's The list is endless. Throw in the comments what some of your life purpose and side gigs and creative endeavors Put those in the comments so we can all see that and I will definitely answer those comments as long as you keep it appropriate. And once again, I'm Nurse Anne. I'm your favorite nurse and new indie author and um, on the front lines of mental health and emergency and still going. I see people struggling and feeling like they're stuck so many times. So this channel is to help you and share this with others that feel stuck, that feel labeled, limited. There's so many things that can stop our brain growth, stop our forward progress. And the, uh, this one ties into the last one. Um, it's helping others, just finding a way that as you go, as you go throughout your day, throughout your life, find a way to notice others, to provide that listening and eye contact and to offer the, you know, it might not always be a big thing, but just offer the help that you can. It's such a rewarder for your life, for your brain, for positivity, for stimulation of everything positive. And we're about to jump into my fictional drama, which is full of action, adventure, advocacy, and awareness. But first I'm going to back up what we talked about in some of my devotionals. We're going to start with my Word Puzzles devotional by Nurse Anne. And it's there is a link at my website in the description is nurseanne.com. That's Anne with an E. And today from the Word Puzzles devotional, I picked a word called neuroplasticity so we can talk more about the brain regeneration of your circuits and, and all that. But the word puzzles is interesting and unique or different words linked to our everyday life and those inner thought and brain struggles. And along with relevant biblical prescriptions to you can get your dose of wisdom and inspiration. So I really want you to overcome and thrive. So I offer you hope and new light for your life journey and especially medicine for your soul. 
So in addition to medicine for your brain, there's medicine for your soul. Don't we need that? So neuroplasticity, and this is an A to Z format devotional, and this is from the letter N. It's not Sesame Street, but it's from the letter N. And it's neuroplasticity. It is the ability of the brain to form and reorganize synaptic connections, especially in response to learning or experience or following injury. So even if you've had brain limitations or brain injuries, your brain does achieve that neuroplasticity, especially digging into the brain healthy habits that we discussed earlier. So this word neuroplasticity conveys hope. Do you need some help? Leave it in the comments, some things that you're hoping for in your life. This word neuroplasticity conveys hope. We might be placed in a box of limitations by a disease, a diagnosis, and labels. Others can impose them, and we can also self-impose them. And others in self-imposition, that's probably not even a word, but it's fun. Imposing that on ourselves and others imposing it on us can cause us to feel stuck and afraid and anxious. So one may lead to the other, along with rejection, ridicule, being shunned by our differences. Yuck. Frustration over current limitations. Thinking we won't be able to push past a so-called defect. Our brain regenerates and makes new pathways, new circuits. So guess what? Higher learning and growth are possible. So keep striving and trying. Don't give up. And from the great neuroscientist, God himself, he encourages us in Jeremiah 33, 3. He says we're advised to call to him and to ask. And he promises to show us and teach us new, great, and mighty things. Things we did not previously know. Things that were hidden to help solve our life puzzles. That's why I wrote the word puzzles devotional to help you discover and overcome your life puzzles and to promote new learning and advancement. So keep on learning and growing, try new endeavors. And as I said, break out of those boxes. And the next is Energize Health, Body, Mind and Spirit by Nurse Ann. I'm gonna quickly tell you about um, the green tea and that is included in my book. There's a section on the body, mind and spirit because as I said earlier, our body, mind and spirit work together in synergy to propel our total health, to have that life of energized health. So let's talk about green tea. So first I wanna ask you on a scale of one to 10, how healthy have your beverage choices been this week? How about today? Scale 10 being great choices, one being not so great. So here, in addition to water, here's one of the great beverages. I'm going to wind up this section on beverages with one of the healthiest choices for something to drink, and it's green tea. It's a great beverage to kickstart and maintain healing and energy. And I'm going to list some of the health health benefits of green tea before moving on. So this antioxidant-laden delight can help protect against heart disease and cancer and even improve brain function. This tea also contains substances that cut down on free radicals and help protect the cells in our body and brain. Don't you want healthy protected cells? I know I do. Among other disease fighting properties, it can also help you lose weight. And, and that's basically the section about green tea that I included in my Energized Health devo devotional. But just another verse to encourage you is from 3 John. It says, Beloved, so I'm talking to you, friends, and God tells us that I wish above all else that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Yes, we all want prosperity for our brain health, our body health, our emotional health, and so much more. And I included one from my Mental healing poetry devotional. A lot of people gravitate to this because you know all of us every day need some mental healing. We deal with a lot of that self-negativity, 
a lot of negativity imposed by deadlines in our lives, pressures and negativity around us. So in addition to um, being a nurse on the front lines and still goings and being your favorite nurse and new indie author, I also started doing spoken word. I was inspired by Hosanna Wong. Look her up. She's amazing. But this one is called Mental Battles because I really want you to have mental healing and mental peace. So this is Mental Battles by Nurse Anne. But first, let's all get a drink of water. And take a deep breath. So water is so important. It's the best beverage that's going to help your brain and your body cells. So Mental Battles by Nurse Anne. The battle rages on from nighttime until dawn, trying to take over my mind. Where is the peace I can find? Lord, you told me to be still. Don't need the bottle or the pill. You, my Savior, promised to supply. My life, my wealth will never run dry. The battle rages on from nighttime until dawn, trying to take over my mind. Where is the peace I can find? The war is not just physical, but spiritual, mental, kind of seems mystical. You provided armor from heaven for me, artillery that no eye can even see. The battle rages on from nighttime until dawn, trying to take over my mind. Where is the peace I can find? Help me to hang on and rest in your care. I'll never walk alone, my struggles you share. Yes, thank you. We are victorious in this fight, leading me to quiet waters and glorious freedom's light. Thank you, God. And I was also inspired by Psalm 23. He reminds us that he is our shepherd. We don't have to want and need that he makes us lie down in those green pastures and leads us beside still and quiet waters or situations and restores our soul and our brains and so much more. We are given that promise. But I'm, from the devotional part, I ask you, what is currently causing your mind and your brain to be in turmoil and unrest? Does it keep you up at night? Do you feel anxious during your day? Do you feel the need to reach for a bottle or a shot of your favorite be beverage immediately after work? Do you need more and more pills to get through the day? I know there's medical conditions that benefit from prescriptions and treatment, but at the same time, we can, on the outside, in addition to our treatments, we could also find ourselves overly dependent on outside comfort measures that can turn into habits and cycles. And I do have another podcast that talks about dopamine addictions and healthier alternatives. And I think it's a few podcasts down. Just look for that one about dopamine addictions and health, choosing having healthier alternatives. That's important. So on the other hand, God does prom prom promise, promise, promise to give us peace and stillness when we focus on him. And this assurance, I know sometimes it sounds like an easy cliche, but our infinite heavenly father knows the beginning from the end. And so I pray you'll cast your vision onto your savior and allow him to offer you comfort and rest for your battles that war against your mind and soul. And that's from Mental Healing Poetry Devotional by Nurse Anne. This was my first attempt at doing poetry and spoken word. And I hope that you like it. Leave a comment what you think about mental battles and what kind of struggles you're going through. And this, in this, devotional. We talk about life challenges. We discuss those along with God-ordained courage and healing to help us turn our brains and our mindsets away from being controlled and puppeted by fear. An inspiration to step into your true destiny of a faith walk and the purpose-driven path. Remember, having your life purpose and endeavors can help your brain function at its highest. I also wrote Inspiration Battles devotional it's soul searching with a dose of encouragement because the battle to stay inspired in our mind and our brains and our life in general can be overwhelming at times. And I wanted to help give you that inspiration. So inspiration battles devotional link at the website link. There is um, nurseand.com. It shows you in the description. That's Anne with an E. 
And my last devotional I just released this year is exciting. Or actually, it was last year because this is a brand new year. But Ignite Life Poetry Devotional because I want you to live an ignited and inspired life. You're going to love this. There's a lot of poems in here to help advocate for what people are going through in many different situations, along with a lot of encouragement and inspiration to have an ignited life. As I said, I'm Nurse Ann. I'm a nurse on the front lines of mental health and emergency. And I see people, patients and families and others just struggling through mind battles, diagnosis, labels, limitations. And that's why I started the website and the channel to help you and to help others and those that you love and care for just live healthier, lives of body, mind, and spirit. So we're about to end. So before we do, we're going to jump into my published fictional drama. And it's a six-part drama series that I created in my free time as a busy nurse on the front lines. And we've already completed book one, which is The Mental Fall Sheep Among Wolves. You met the young lady living alone on the street while battling frightening hallucinations, trying to fend for herself, along with others going through struggles. And you also met all the frontline workers that remain the same in this interconnected series. Each story though has a different mental health struggle or two that people are going through. And then you ride along with the frontline workers as they try to rescue those in crisis of mental, physical, and spiritual. And you also follow the frontline workers in their relationships, their relationship drama, and their own inner thought battles. So the next book that we just finished and um, is called The Mental Falls, Dr. John Doe. And that deals with memory disorders and things of that nature. And now we've jumped into the mental falls, a tent under the bridge. And the last time I read you chapter one. So we'll jump into trap chapter two. And the book after that is Defenders of the Week, where we talk about people getting bullied and how they overcome that. Also anxiety and how they overcome that. And the last book is the mental falls. I mean, the one before that is Ready, Willing, and Able. We talk about um, uh, the spectrum disorders of that as far as people having limitations and just how people can overcome and be a superhero in many ways in their life in giving back to the world. And the last one is the mental falls out of control. We talk about addictions, relapse, along with the culmination of the relationships of the frontline workers and just leading you into that season finale. So I'm going to jump into that, but quickly I'm going to show you that it is a six-part series, but to make it almost free and easier, I put it in one book. It's the Mental Falls First Six Stories edition. And also, we don't always have time to read, so it was made into an audiobook, and I'm going to show you what that looks like on Audible and iTunes. The Mental Falls First Six Stories edition by Nurse Anne, and it was narrated by Drama Simpson, who brought it to life with siren noises, lots of action, so you can feel like you're right there in the action, because it is meant to be a television drama series one day with your help. And that's the Mental Files First Six Stories edition. So, so we can get you out of here. Let's read the chapter and then I'll let you go. And it's from the third book, A Tent Under the Bridge. And we just did chapter one where you met the lady that lived in a tent under the bridge and where she went shopping, but her car got declined. And since she'd been caught in that store before, I think she's getting ready to go to the next door, her plan B. So chapter one was Abigail Goes Shopping. And chapter two is moving on up. Mars, who is the young man that was caught in a life of crime and danger, and the officer and the nurses and the frontline workers helped rescue him and they're mentoring him. So Mars and his mom, Jenna, were finally here. They had to move out of their bad news neighborhood where he was caught up in crime so they could have a new chance. But so Mars and his mom, Jenna, were finally here. What an improvement from the neighborhood filled with crime and drama. Time for a fresh and safer beginning. Laughter and conversation filled the air as the two unpacked all of the boxes that the moving team had unloaded. Mars talked excitedly about all he had learned so far in paramedic school. Guess what, Mom? I get to go on my first mission in the field. What? When? Excitedly asked the single mom. Oh, on the 15th. I think I have three more days, he said. I'll have to check the calendar, replied the young man who had been studying nonstop to make sure he could ace the program and make a good impression. 
Today is the 15th, exclaimed Jenna. No way, cried the worried student. Oh, what time is it now? It's 10 a.m. now. What time are you supposed to be at the station, she answered. 10.30, he gasped. Mom, please, please call and tell him I'm on the way. Oh, but I can't leave you to do all this unpacking by yourself. Mars, go now. Grab some food on the way out, but go. I'll call for you this time, replied his mom. She usually didn't always cover for him because she wanted him to be responsible. But he had been working so hard in school and was a great help with the chores at home. Stumbling out the door with his brand new uniform on, he waved as he heard her admonish him to drive safely. And on the next Nurse and Duck podcast, we're going to jump into chapter three, which is jail or ER. So I think Abigail, the woman, is going to have to choose whether she wants to go to jail or the emergency room. And I can't wait to read that to you. And, and it's going to be so exciting. And I'm going to see you over at nurseand.com. And make sure you like, subscribe, follow, leave your best comment for today. Thank you for being here, supporting it. I can't wait to see you next time.